Good morning. I know that uh, you've seen the garden from the roadside, but here's from the back of the property. I've got this huge pin oak here, cherry tree, a whole grove of maples, black walnuts, black walnuts. I'm surrounded by trees. Can you see the garden? Can you even see the garden? Here, let's go. Yeah, surrounded by trees. Look, it's like, what is it, 10 o'clock in the morning? Still no sun on this end of the garden. And surrounded by more trees. So, yeah, I, I've got, I got a lot of things working against me. I keep trying. Um, no wonder why I fail at getting a thousand pounder. I just don't have the property to do it, I don't think. I mean, I'll keep trying, but honestly, um, the little tiny pumpkin patch, 315 square feet right here, is just now getting sun. And that's pretty late. So, yeah, I guess I'll keep working at it. You want to see what we did yesterday? I know we finished in the dark, so I got um, the marigolds taken down, um, the strawberry plants that we planted this spring are super healthy and taking over. They would take over this whole bed if I let them. So this is where my beautiful peppers were and my beautiful tomatoes. Wow, those were so good and did so well so we have to uh, augment this soil I was letting the birds pick up all the seeds so I'll let it go like this for a week or two I even took out the giant tomato that was in the middle of this bed I have to take out the other row of beans the beans really did well they were beautiful I think everything the positions that I had them in um, we're good. The only thing that failed that I didn't do a good job with was the onions. I think I planted them too deep. And then um, the iris garden. I had flowers at annuals in there because the irises were done. They're not ever blooming. They just bloom once in the spring and then they're done. Um, I uh, basically cut their bed and I took a third of their bed off so I could get a wheelbarrow through here this spring. I did, that was great. That was like a really good thing to do. Um, I tried to label some of these irises. I don't know, you need to fertilize and um, then I need to come over here and take the annuals out of there and the rest of the giant tomatoes. I, see, I still see giant tomatoes. I don't think I'm gonna plant garlic again this year um there's i have so much garlic that i need to process and hopefully it's not too late um trying to keep them cool but you know i don't have a root cellar so i would say if you are going to plant a garden and you want to keep your food that you grow for a long term invest in some kind of root cellar um, those are, I don't know, we think the older, you know, the further along in our timeline we get, the smarter we get. I think we're losing important information. And one of them was the absolute necessity of a root cellar, for sure. Absolute necessity. So the strawberries will overwinter here. They're probably gonna spread through the bed. I potted some up to give away as gifts. These are once blooming, so what they'll do is they'll give me a really big crop in the spring and then stop making flowers. And then they're just, they put on all this amazing growth. So I'm gonna end up doing a lot of pruning throughout the year. So that's the opposite of what I was doing before. I had an, an ever blooming strawberry and I would just get this really great crop in the spring 
and then every once in a while it would put on a strawberry here and there and, and they called that ever blooming i said what a waste of energy and oftentimes the critters were getting them anyway and there wasn't enough to even make a handful to eat so i ripped those out gave away some threw away a lot and then planted this instead and you there's a video of me planting them and they turned out to be super healthy super happy and that's great and then i'm eventually going to sell off those two pumpkins and then i will see what went wrong with my vines and what went right and what i can learn from uh, my tiny little garden we'll finish this fence see my beautiful fence back there we gotta finish it over here there's only like one panel down there <laughs> then we gotta finish that corner and all the way through here and up to the top so that's what our plans are there you are